Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book Modifying the Electronics of Modern Classics. It's designed for people who've got cars from the 1990s and the next decade. In today's video, I want to show you how you can tweak the output of a sensor using a pot. Now, I've already done a video that shows that, but this is a different approach because you have a different requirement. In the previous video, I showed how you could add a little voltage on top of the existing signal, or you could take away a little voltage from the existing signal. The signal would still go up and down with whatever parameter was being measured, but we've got a, a proportional increase or proportional decrease. That changes what the ECU sees, the ECU changes in its behavior, we can achieve our modification outcome. And that ECU might be engine management, it might be power steering, it might be anything, anything that's being controlled in the car using an analog signal. So why is today's video different? Well, some sensors are acting in a different way to what we saw previously. In this type of sensor, we have, as we did before, a 5 volt supply, an output and a ground, but that output stays around 2.5 volts unless something is happening. Unless something is happening, what's he mean? Well, let's take a power steering uh, sensor that measures the amount of torque, twisting effort you're applying to the steering. When you are going in a straight line and not applying any steering effort, the voltage output will be 2.5 volts. As you turn left, it will drop below 2.5 volts. As you turn right, it will increase above 2.5 volts. Now, the ECU in the power steering system is saying, oh, he needs lots of assistance or she needs lots of assistance uh, because I can see they're applying lots of torque. Let me give them lots of assistance. But in many cases, you want that assistance to be reduced and the way you achieve it is you reduce the size of the swings away from two and a half volts. So the signal still varies with steering torque, but it doesn't vary so much. And so the ECU thinks you're not putting in as much effort as you really are, and therefore it doesn't provide over assistance. You can reduce the amount of assistance. So we want to reduce the size of the swings away from 2.5 volts. How do we achieve it? Again, it's really, really easy. We just need two pots. Last time we used one, this time we used two. So how do we achieve it? Let's have a look. The first thing we do is we need to be able to provide a 2.5 volt reference. Let's have a look at how we achieve that. We connect a wire to the five volts, we jump across the output, we put the resistor track of the pot there, and then we put the wiper in the middle of the pot. Now, if we've got five volts on one end and ground on the other end, putting the wiper in the middle gives us 2.5 volts. That's our reference voltage. Now, what can we do next? Well, we put the other pot there, like that. And then we get rid of that output and we connect it to our new wiper. Now, if you're looking a bit uh, confused, you're thinking this is all a bit complicated, don't worry, let me explain it. So this pot just simply gives us a 2.5 volt output on the wiper and we adjust the pot until we have 2.5 volts measured uh, between the output of that and ground with our multimeter and we leave it. Now, the other pot. Well, let's have a look at what would happen depending on where the wiper of the other pot is. If we put the wiper up to the top, the knobs at one end of its travel, then it's just like the output has been connected straight to the sensor, no change. If we move the wiper down to the other end, turn it the other way, then the output is connected always to 2.5 volts. So there's not going to be any signal there, it's just stuck on 2.5 volts. Now, if we have the wiper at an in-between position, we will have a mixture of the reference voltage of 2.5 volts and the actual sensor output. And the closer we have it down towards the bottom, the less the swings the output signal will undertake. So back down there, stuck at two and a half volts, up the top, swings just like standard, as it did with, with no changes being made. So by adjusting this pot, we can reduce the magnitude of the swings up and down, away from two and a half volts, which is what we wanted to achieve. We want the ECU to think that there's less action occurring than there really is. In the case of the power steering system, that means it will reduce the amount of assistance it gives. Now, 
in any sensor that has analog sensor that has a, a, a resting voltage in the middle of typically two and a half volts and swings either side away from that if you want to reduce the magnitude of those swings this circuit works very well I've used it on power steering on a, on a Toyota Prius actually um, and while I didn't use this circuit I think now it would have worked very well in changing the torque split on a Skyline GTR, an old one, an R32 GTR. I actually used a much more complex circuit to change the output of the lateral G sensor which completely changed the torque split and mind-bogglingly changed the handling of the car on the road but I think in retrospect I probably just could have used this circuit. So it's a really useful circuit, just two pots, costs almost nothing, gives you adjustable control, easy to wire in, very, very effective if you want to reduce those swings away from that middle voltage. The book's called Modifying the Electronics of Modern Classics. This is one of the approaches that I describe in that book. It's a very good approach which costs very little and can achieve great outcomes. Thank you.